than an on-premise system or a cloud system or you know, uh, can ever do by itself. And what we're going to do, what we're doing is, uh, as long as you opt in, we're going to start collecting configuration data. Several of our customers have already agreed to do this. We're going to start collecting your configurations, hardware configurations and software configurations, and upload those configurations from Enterprise Manager into a global configuration data database in my Oracle support. And it's going to be that combination of all of your hardware and software configurations and all of your service request data, those two databases, that's going to allow us to do proactive, proactive problem detection uh, and recommend patches to you before you actually rediscover bugs that are, that are in our software or for that matter other vendors software. Uh, problems that might, might be with, uh, occurring in our hardware or other suppliers. To do that, um, the next slide please. To do that, again, we have to have this global, global database with as many of our customers' configurations as possible. When we have all this configuration data, we're then going to data mine that database. And we're going to say, all right, customer A is running this version of Solaris and this version of the Oracle database and this version of Oracle Identity Management. And is experiencing the following problem. In other words, we, that person has reported a bug and we have a fix for that bug in identity management for that customer. What we want to do is to notify all other customers with a similar configuration that they might have a problem. Busy. Maybe they should, they, should patch, they should patch identity management with this patch before they rediscover the problem. If we have all of this data, if we know your configuration, if we know you've had a problem, if after investigating the problem we discover a real bug and provide a fix for that bug, we want to not just give it to you, we want to give that fix to everybody else who has a similar configuration. We want to proactively notify our customers based on your configuration we think you should apply these patches to your system. No one's doing that right now. No one's doing a good job of that right now. Because we haven't got enough information to diagnose problems that may exist in your configurations. We need that configuration data. That quid pro quo is if we're allowed to collect that information, we can examine it and let you know about problems before you rediscover them. Uh, so you'll see with our new proactive product support system, uh, the first thing when you log on to My Oracle Support, you'll see a recommended, and we'll demonstrate this in a minute, you'll see a recommended set of fixes based on your configuration. Next slide, please. Then, when uh, we'll have, using Enterprise Manager, we'll let you download the appropriate patch, we'll let you know an appropriate patch is available. By the way, uh, because it's a collaboration-based system, uh, it will let you read about or uh, what other users have said about this patch, about this problem, about this patch, uh, and whether uh, it, it, you get the, you know, their ideas, you, can, uh, you get to collaborate with other users with similar configurations. And the system will automatically check to make sure the patch we're supplying doesn't conflict with other patches you've applied to your system. Again, if we have your configuration data, we know what software you're running, what versions of software you're running, and what patches you've applied to that software. So we can prevent you from making perhaps a mistake. You say, oh, gee, I've got this problem, here's the patch, I need, to, I need to apply this fix. Not so fast. We will automatically validate that that patch does not conflict with other patches you may have applied to the system. <laughs> or there are, maybe there are other patches, before you apply this patch, there are prerequisite patches that come before it. We'll automatically validate that for you. 
to make sure that when you are fixing your system, you're making it better, not worse. Next slide, please. Uh, I'd like to call Richard Sarwell out here, uh, Richard, uh, to show that what I was just talking about really does exist. Richard Sarwell, please. Richard used to run, used to run for a long time, went over to VMware to run all of their software engineering, and then he came back. We're, thr we're thrilled to have him back. I'm thrilled to be back as well. Um, so here we have a little bit of what you were talking about. We're trying to merge sort of the support experience with the management experience. And what you have in front of you is hopefully a lot of you are familiar with is the Enterprise Manager homepage. And if you look on the top right, what you see is a new tab called My Oracle Support. And if you go in there, what we've done is taken some of the stuff that Larry just talked about, and we've actually embedded some of the support capabilities directly in Enterprise Manager. So from here, you can do some common tasks like file and track SRs, look at the knowledge uh, search engines, but you can also look at the patch recommendations that, that we were just talking about. And again, as Larry explained, these patches, are, uh, these recommendations are based on what you run. They're the product, version, and platform. And actually, just one extra step even on from there. We know you may be running a database on a Linux platform, but we even know that you're running particular features. And in this case, you know, you, we know you're running Data Guard on the system. And Data Guard is a feature we use to do uh, disaster recovery with. And so this is probably something pretty important that I'd like to take a look at and look at this patch. If I now take a look at this patch, I'm presented with some very interesting information. I can see the platform. I can see the list of problems that this patch actually fixes. On the right-hand side, I see a trend that shows me how many people have downloaded the patch, and more importantly, some of the feedback that our own community has given us. And really, this is a collaboration between the community and us, but also enterprise managers getting this information from the support systems where your configuration lives. So at this point, I'd like to, I think, add this patch to a plan. And really, a plan is really a way of collecting together a set of patches so that when it comes, when you have a regular downtime, you can go and take this plan and uh, 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 apply it. So if we look at this plan now, the first thing we're going to actually do is Larry pointed out, and this is really something we couldn't do till today. Today, if you wanted to apply a patch, you download a patch, you try and apply it in your system, and it'll tell you uh, you've got a conflict with what you have. Here, right up front, you get to validate if that patch is going to conflict with something you have, and is there a merge of a patch available today? In this case, it actually found one, so I'm going to replace the conf conflict. But if it didn't find one, it would automatically file a trouble ticket back with Oracle. We would create the merge patch and notify you as soon as that was available. So now that we've got, uh, we've got the patch ready to deploy, here we are transitioning back from the My Oracle support uh, piece of software back into Enterprise Manager. And for those of you who use Enterprise Manager, you know you can do the full patch lifecycle from there. So we'll pick up a deployment procedure to patch an Oracle database, and now we can start deploying the patch. And if this is taking us right into the patching flow, which allows you to schedule it and deploy it on multiple systems. So I think we've shown you how we can take the information we get from your configurations, from our community, and from Enterprise Manager, and unify them all in a single experience. <coughs> Thank you, Richard. Stay right there. But uh, we're thrilled to have Richard back from VMware for two reasons. One, he has a beard, and two, I love the way he dresses. <laughs> Thank you. I'm working. I'm <laughs> okay. Uh, so what you saw was a demonstration. I'm just trying to have a little fun here. Uh, a demonstration of our proactive support system. If we have your configuration data. Uh, if we have all of your SR data, we really, uh, and, and we mine that data properly, we make the right recommendations uh, for the patches that you should apply. Furthermore, we can tell you what prerequisite patches there are, automatically validate the patch. If a merge is available, give it to you. If, if not, file the merge. Do all of, that, all of that for you automatically. All this is done, all this is done by merging Enterprise Manager with my Oracle support and making it one unified system. Partially, if you like, in the cloud, at global database back at Oracle Corporation. Partially on premise at all of our customers, collecting that information that, that benefit all of our customers. Next slide, please. Uh, next thing I'd like to show